I am literally sweating so much right now. It's so nasty. Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Mark Alvin, and welcome back to another week's video. Okay guys, so this video is going to be a little bit different from my usual astrology comedy videos. Um, this week I kind of want to just talk to you guys face to face and tell you guys how I'm feeling right now. Um, so as many of you guys know, this past Wednesday we did have our election which Donald Trump won. Um, so right now he is the president-elect and a lot of people are not too happy about that, including myself. A lot of people right now are feeling terrified, feeling sad, feeling anger, all these different kinds of emotions, and I totally understand them. So I kind of want to just voice out my entire opinion and kind of give you guys an experience to why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. So just a little bit of a background about me. I was actually born in the Philippines and we moved over here to the United States when I was five years old. We were actually living in Texas before we had moved to California when I was 13. So growing up in Texas wasn't easy. Um, being Filipino, being foreign um, was definitely a different thing to everybody else who was white um and privileged i guess growing up i was actually bullied a lot whether that was verbally physically emotionally like you name it i was bullied so much just for being different and just for existing i guess there were times when i was in class and the teacher was gone that people would actually be making fun of me whether that was behind my back or whether that was to my face people would, ins would throw insults and that really might not sound like such a big deal for you guys but for me having just people laugh in my face was definitely something that i could never forget about and also like it would sometimes lead to getting physically bullied and i even specifically remember that one of those days that i was in school playing on the playground by myself, minding my own business, a group of guys came up to me and they did all that stuff, attacking me, fighting me, kicking me, you name it. You know, they were telling me to fight back, but I couldn't, you know. Fighting back just wasn't an option for me. I'm like a huge pacifist. At the time, I mean like right now, I would like totally fight back. No, I wouldn't. But yeah, I remember just coming home one of those days with bruises on my leg, bruises on my shin, you know, like, and I, and I was too scared to tell anybody because being this person that showed, or being a guy specifically, showing weakness wasn't an option at all, you know? People would make fun of you even more if you showed your weak side, if you were a guy, like you weren't allowed to cry. So it was hard, it was really hard because I had no one to confide in, I had no one to talk to, I had nobody there, you know, that would hear me out and not judge me. And mind you guys, this was when I was in grade school and even in middle school. Um, so believe it or not, it was even harder for other people, other kids out there, people of different religion, people of different beliefs, people of color, just people that were different in general. At a really early stage, I learned how to conform, how to conform with society and to be just like everybody else. You know, like I couldn't be different. It was really hard for me to love my own self because I had to be just like everybody else. And even then, I would still get bullied. I would still get made fun of for something that I couldn't help, something that I was born in. And when I was five years old, I remember that I was super, super excited to be coming to America because everybody in the Philippines always talked about how amazing America was, how amazing America is, how much freedom and how much just overall everything there is in America. But... When I did get there, I was like, where is this amazing thing that everybody talks about? You know, like I didn't feel welcome there. I didn't feel free there. I didn't feel like I belong there. Everybody was just so different to me and I was so different to them. And I really hated coming to school. Like I didn't want to go to school at all. There were so many times when I did miss school because I 
just couldn't face those people that made fun of me, that bullied me. It was just really hard for me growing up because like I never did anything wrong to these people. It was just me and my physical appearance and my background that really triggered them. And a couple flashbacks later when we did move to California, things did get better. Um, I mean like people were still looking at me in a different way. People were still criticizing me. People were still giving me dirty looks. Um, just for being me, but it was so much better. Um, I mean, it wasn't like so, so much better because this part of California was very conservative, but it was so much better than it was in Texas. So I spent two years living in this part of California before I moved to another part of California, which I'm in right now. And I honestly love it to death. People here are so accepting, people here are so nice and kind and just helpful of one another. And just looking back at how it was 10 years before and how things are now, it is just so genuinely so much better. And I don't know if this is because it's this part of California or it's because it's like 10 years later when things are a lot more better and we have a new president. I don't know what it was, but it was so much better. And that is absolutely frightening to other people and myself because I don't want to feel like I'm living my adolescent life again where I felt like I was trapped, when I felt like nobody was there for me, when I felt like I was so different from everybody else to the point where I would let them bully me, where I would let them insult me. And seeing the news now, I feel like things have gone back to the way they were. People are attacking one another just based on their religion, just based on their color, just based on their sexuality. And that's not right. That's absolutely not right. And that's so disgusting to me. It's just really sad because Donald Trump won. He won. He accomplished everything that he wanted to accomplish, which is bringing fear to this country. You know, like growing up, I was always scared. I was always fearful because I was different from everybody else, because I wasn't like everybody else. And I could just only imagine other people feeling the same way now just because their religion is different from everybody else's, their sexuality is different from everybody else's. Things over this whole span of years that I've lived have gotten so much better, have gotten better, but I can't help to imagine how things are kind of going back now, how everybody is getting a lot more judgmental, a lot more very critical over other people just based on the color of their skin, based on their religion, based on their belief. It kills me how we as minorities can't even be given basic human rights that we deserve. It kills me how people actually have to conform with how society works and how society functions and how they can't express their religion, how they can't express their beliefs just because of people that are angered and threatened by them. And not even in the span of 24 hours of Donald Trump's election, there has already been people that have attacked certain groups for being the way they are, for believing in what they believe, for loving who they want to love. Like, it's happening guys. It really is happening all over again, you know? And I just am so fearful of other people out there, people that are not as fortunate to be living in such a democratic state. Like, I truly feel saddened that America chose Donald Trump to be the 45th president, you know, because we're making it clear that abuse, that rape, that misogyny, that discrimination is okay. Like, we shouldn't be teaching our kids that. You know, I guess right now I'm just scared. You know, if you're not scared, then good for you. Like, you don't have to live your life in fear. Uh... But for some of us, it is scary. It is scary to step out of the house and not being able to truly be ourselves 100%. And always worry about filtering ourselves, filtering what we say, filtering how we act, filtering just everything about us, which we shouldn't have to do. We should be able to express ourselves. We shouldn't be able to express who we are as individuals. But right now, I feel like a lot of people can't. A lot of people are scared to do that. You know what? Despite who our president is, you as individuals are still so powerful. Your words are still so powerful. Don't ever let anybody 
anybody at all tell you how to act tell you who to be tell you who to love you guys do you you guys be your own person and fight back let your voices be heard even louder whatever minority group you belong with whether you're black whether you're gay trans whether you're a muslim whatever minority group you may belong with just know you are loved and you are loved and you are loved there will always be somebody out there fighting for the rights that we all deserve the rights that we all are entitled to so never forget that so i guess that's pretty much everything that i wanted to talk to you guys about um just remember spread love spread positivity spread happiness just concluding this whole entire video i do urge you guys to keep fighting to keep moving forward because things will get better things will get brighter you know right now it may seem hard right now it may seem like the odds and the popularity and the majority is against us but that's when things come together in place when everybody is united if we all have something that unites us together as a whole things will get better so yeah guys that's all i have to say please never let anybody tell you who to be who to become who to love what to believe in never let anybody tell you that guys keep fighting keep pushing forward and yeah anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for hearing me out and letting me kind of just rant you guys are the best uh, remember i love you all so much never let hate conquer this world just believe in yourself and yeah guys please continue to spread positivity and laughter and happiness all around just be there for one another and love one another and yeah okay guys thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye